Hey, this is Ellis from The Verge checking out the True Grip, a new Bluetooth keyboard for smartphones, small tablets, and computers that lets you type on the back of the keyboard in order to ostensibly help you be more portable and only have to commit to one keyboard size while you're using it all day long. And keys are actually still laid out in QWERTY, but they're sideways. So when you think about it, your hand is actually in the exact same place it otherwise would have been. The keys are just sideways, and uh, so you're still making the same movements with your hand. But that doesn't mean it's any easier. As you can see, the mouse here on screen is controlled by the accelerometer in the device, so it's kind of like a steering wheel. You can go up and down to move your mouse. The company says that eventually you're going to be able to page back and forth by doing a quick flick, but for now, you have to do that kind of stuff and space bar on the front of the actual device itself, as well as you have end and arrows and page down. So this is a, let's give this a shot here. Okay, so I'm gonna try this right now. It's very difficult. It's like learning to type again, like hunting and pecking, like I'm trying to find the T right now. And my left hand going up to the T, it lights up to give you some feedback about what you're doing, but that doesn't really mean it's any easier to try and get used to this. You're taking your hand kind of like this on a regular keyboard and flipping it around to the other side. So as you can see, you have to practice quite a bit. The company says maybe eight to 10 hours to become proficient on this thing. And uh, might take even longer than that for most of us who are used to touch screen and uh, regular keyboards. True Grip lasts for about eight to 10 hours on its battery, the company says, and it's not planning to launch for another, uh, another several months in the end of 2014 for around $250.